name is Vikas Gaurav and welcome back to my channel called Cognition Learning Center for All. So friend, today I am going to teach you how to do the simulation part in SOLIDWORKS or you can say analysis in SOLIDWORKS. So this video is basically for the fresher which wanted to learn the simulation in SOLIDWORKS because I am covering a very small part of simulation or you can say this is just the starting of the simulation part. So this is very good video for fresher. So, uh, here you can see we have a structural assembly and structural part. So in this part we can say this is working like a cantilever. So one end is fixed, another one end, another end is hanging. So we are going to apply a force on other end and one end would be fixed. So friend here you can see I have suppressed all the, the hardwares which is going to be used in mounting. You can see the simulation tab over here. If it is not here, you can go to the setting, add in, and you can check and uncheck, and it will appear and disappear from this point. So, as you can see, it has disappeared. So, go to setting again and check it. So, you can see it will appear in the left top. Over here, you can see the simulation tab. So now we can start with the simulation. So go to simulation tab and new study. So there is a name. So you can rename it whatever you want it to rename. So this is our file name for simulation. Okay. XYZ. So you can see the part. Here you can see all the parts are having material, but the cognition three number part is not having the material. So you can click. And you can give the material to this part right click and favorite material or the AISI 304 so now this all is having a material again right click and treat this part as a solid so all the parts which is inside this assembly is treated as a solid as you can see so now it's look good Now we can fix the one end, right click, fix geometry, we can select these holes where hardware are going to be used for fixing of this structure. So select these two holes, okay. Now this is fixed, okay, fine. Now go to external load, so right click and there are many options so select force now you can choose these two holes where we are going to apply the force okay as you can see here the assign unit and select direction so we can select this direction one and you can apply the force per item or total of the forces which is going to be applied so select this surface so it will guide the direction as you can see so now apply the force like 1000 Newton. So this is per hole 1000 Newton. Okay, we can also increase the, the thickness of the direction. Okay, so it will appear. Okay, so it's look big. So we have options. Now it's look good, reverse check. Okay, no, this is fine because the force is going to be applied in downward direction. Okay, now mess, mess is like a net which is covering the finite analysis you can give 10 so it's fine over here okay fine so as you can see it will appear like a net so this is a part of finite analysis so it will break this structure into 10 by 10 net square or something some geometry run this study It will take some time okay now the, the analysis has created the report which is so also we can add the report like go ahead new plot and we have multiple option here factor of safety we can add we can give the maximum of 10 so it will appear in the report up to 10 factor of safety as you can see so one tab is added so stress double click Okay, as you can see, 
stress the this is the value of stress is coming in exponential values so we can make it a simpler one so right click you can edit or chart option also so chart option directly it will go so select this as a floating okay go to definition and again select this as a mega pascal fine so now it is appearing in a simple value as you can see same for the displacement as you can see it is in exponential value so right click go to chart option again scroll down so select floating okay now it appear in simple value like this in mm again go to strain so right click you can also edit definition as you can go chart option make it floating Okay, fine it is appearing in a simple value go to factor of safety again right click this chart option okay floating okay as you can see up to 10 it is appearing which we have given the value for factor of safety and here 6.90 is the factor of safety for this structure okay Go to displacement we can animate this how it will actually appear when we applied the force on the structure and one it is fixed another one is moving like a cantilever beam as you can see the movement of displacement of this structure okay fine okay good right click this chart option we can show the maximum stress on which part and which area is going to be appear so you can see the maximum stress is going to be appear on that hole so this is another type of option which is available in solidworks simulation so we can check this one also so as you can see this is just a very general or very basic knowledge for simulation part in solidworks so friend hope you like this video so please like comment and share this video to your friends and family thank you thank you very much for watching this video thank you